Hello YouTube and hello world. Welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. Today we're going to be getting into the new and improved Kali Linux 2019.4. In today's lecture we're going to be installing that, configuring it, updating it, and we're going to be checking out a cool new feature which is the undercover mode. So let's get started. And before we get started, just if you can, please like, subscribe, and comment at the end of the video if you think this video is helpful, of course. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, in today's video, we're going to be installing it. And where we're going to be getting the image is directly from the Kali website. So you can go to kali.org um, slash downloads. And if you go all the way down, in my case, I'm going to be using VMware Workstation. So we can go to the offensive security website, OK? So when you click on here, it's going to give us the download Kali Linux virtual machine. So if you're using VirtualBox or Hyper-V or VMware Workstation, you just pick, um, you know, you pick the one that's right for your hypervisor. In our case, I downloaded the VMware image, 64-bit, okay? And my image is right here. I can show you guys. I downloaded it, I extracted it, and these are the files right here. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, I want to open up my VMware workstation and let's go ahead and uh, do, 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 do. Uh, open. Sorry, it's been a very long day today. Um, let's go to download documents, view downloads. Uh, do, do. Let's open this. Today is December 1st. And we're going to open up the new and improved 2019.4. This is, if you downloaded it, this is going to give you the default username, which is root, and the password is root backwards, which is Tor. Okay, so we're going to leave all the defaults. That should be fine for me. Okay, let's go ahead and power it up. It doesn't matter. I copied it. And this is just pretty much going to boot up. Um, we can hit enter here. So I think in another video that I posted, I installed it from scratch. This is actually fully packaged for you, so which is great. So if you're in a pinch or if you don't, you know, if you're not going to install it directly on your laptop or a desktop or like a Raspberry Pi or whatever, this is the option you would choose. And it'll be great because it's, it's all set up. You see right here, we can just log in, root tour and bada bing bada boom we're in so the first thing i normally do whenever i set up a new box i always change the password it's just a you know a habit for myself so let's go open up command prompt on the terminal and type pwd oh, oh, pwd sorry and i want to make my fancy password confirm it now my um, now my up, now my password is updated. So the next thing we can do is do an app dash get update just to make sure we're all up to date on all our repositories in our Kali Linux box. Okay, so that should take a few seconds. The files aren't too big, and my internet is pretty quick, so I think. Right. <laughs> so let that do its thing, and after this is actually done, what we can do is do a distro update. So we can actually upgrade the distro and then hit yes. This will upgrade all the packages that come with it because this has been out for a few days. So God only knows when this was actually updated. I like to do this just to make sure all my repositories, all my packages, my applications that I'm going to be running in here is up to date. And I think you guys should do that too anytime you install any kind of Linux distro. <clears throat> so like when I did my EVNG, I did an app that uh, update and then I did the upgrade just to make sure everything is um, up to date, patched and all that cool stuff. So while this does that, what we can do is take a few, you know, a few looks at uh, around the operating system. Obviously, we can minimize that for now. And now, obviously, you see it's very different from any previous version of Kali, which I love the new look. I play around with it for a little bit, not too much. But as you see, the, the menu is a little different. You can say, for example, you want to go get your OSCP. 
And you can click on this, it'll bring you right to the website for all the cool training that uh, Offensive Security um, provides. So let's see, what do they have? Let's see if they have anything new. You know, I haven't checked out any of them in, since I got my OSCP. So this is the course I did, which was amazing. And you see, you can do you, if you were into wireless, if you, you know, if you get your OSCP, if you want to go into the, the next level, the OSCE, and so on and so forth. It's different, you know, if you want to be a web guy, if you, you know, this is the, you know, the penetration testing one, which I think a lot of people le uh, gear towards. Okay, so that's, an, that's, a, that, that's a cool little feature. And which, what I love about this, this is probably what a lot of people are talking about and going on and on about is the undercover mode. So if we type in undercover, Cali undercover mode, Boom. Now it looks like Windows 10. For an example, if you have this on your laptop and you want to be discreet or if you want to pretend that you're anonymous or you don't, you don't want people to know what you're doing, you can, you know, go into undercover mode and it looks like you're just on a Windows machine. You know, it looks like the command prompt, you know, it looks like Windows Explorer. And obviously when you hit on Windows Explorer, um, open folder, you know, obviously you're not in C drive, you're not going to see a C drive because it's Linux, right? But you can, you know, browse your internet, you know, browse your network. Obviously, I don't have nothing going on because we just installed this. So that is the the meat and potatoes, in my opinion, with this new feature. Um, and obviously, when you want to know more about the distro, what we can do, we can get back into the regular mode into Kali mode instead of the Windows mode and we can go back to um, for example offensive security and we can go to Kali docs we can just look on Kali Linux we can look it's just so cool that um, this new distro it might be a little slow because we're doing these updates uh, probably have 10 windows open now um, let's close a few, close this, close this. Okay. So we can go to documentation, the new Linux, uh, Linux, Kali Linux documentation and check this out. Okay. Kali. Okay, cool. This is what we're talking about. The Kali Linux 2019.4 release. So if we click on this, this will show you all new features um, include some exciting new updates, you know, uh, the new feel of the desktop environment, uh, the introduction of the un undercover mode, that's what we just talked about. Um, now we can do public packaging. So if you want to get your own Kali tools uh, into Kali, you can do that. Uh, you can, uh, oh yeah, so PowerShell is a big one too that was added to this. So I think I haven't played too much with the PowerShell, but let's see if I think it's, um, let's see if we can figure out what the command is. I think it's POW power, power W shell, PW shell. Uh, let's see, locate. If I can spell. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, this is too much of a hassle. Let's just uh, see if there's control find PowerShell. Okay, right here. So uh, I guess you have to install it, but I thought it was already installed. All right, PWSH, that is the command. So let's go ahead and check that out. PWSH. So I guess you have to do you have to install it. So let's do it. App dash get install PowerShell. All right, let's see. Because it might be because yeah, because uh, it's installing those other packages. So, but you know, maybe we could check that in another video. But uh, it was just more of a 
uh, a feature. That's what this video is all about, showing the new features about the new Kali. And uh, NetHunter, this is a, a pretty cool feature that um, now it's on the new distro. I haven't played too much with this, so I can't speak on it. Um, and say, for example, you want to do the full upgrade. This is the upgrade if you want to, you know, if you want to upgrade your distro. And what we did, we downloaded it and we installed it. This is pretty much, you know, now this this command will pretty much show us what version we have. And obviously, we have uh, 2019.4. So yeah, that's fine. So maybe after this distro upgrade. This will actually have the PowerShell installed or not. Maybe we just have to install it ourselves. But that's pretty much it for this video. It's a very easy setup. Like I said, it's a, it's very cool. I played around with it for about a day and a half or two days. Um, not all the features yet, but you know the main ones I normally use, like Amitage or Metasploit. Um, you know some some of the wireless tools I have it on my laptop so so that's pretty much it and you know you can just click on it look around see any cool new tools um, you know reporting you know pretty much if you if you're a Cali guy you pretty much uh, probably played around with a lot of these tools but uh, like if you do vulnerability analysis you know if you want to run Nikto Nikto is a cool tool um, I'm not going to go into too many tools in this video, but this can do pretty cool things. Um, so let's see. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to get too much into the features, but I'm loving it so far, and you know, hopefully you guys are too. Just wanted to make this video short and sweet, and hopefully this is been helpful so before we go I guess this is done so now let's see if uh, um, PowerShell can it was installed so let's see do, 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 do. Uh, let's go down what was it install and then PWSH let's go back PWSH Nope. So let's try to install it now. I guess I had it on this terminal. Now it's going to install because now the other the distro upgrade was actually done. So now let's go ahead and install PowerShell. And this is, I think, is really cool. If you're into scripting, if you're into uh, PowerShell programming, this would be a good, you know, good utility for you in the Kali world. So let's check this out. I only have like two gigs. I left it at its default, so probably running a little sluggish because I have a few different labs uh, going at the same time and I have a million, million, thing, million things running. All right, so now let's go ahead and run PWSH. PWSH, boom. So now we're in PowerShell. So, so now we can run all the the commands, the get help, get pretty much. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. I don't play around with PowerShell too much myself, um, but let's see. Get dash help. Dash help, and this is pretty much the PowerShell um, feature. So, like I said, I, I don't really play too much with PowerShell, so I can't speak too much on that. But it's there if you guys are PowerShell users, and that's pretty much it. So that concludes the video. I don't want to prolong it and talk about rubbish, but that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Please. Remember to subscribe, like, comment below. And if you guys want to learn any tools within Kali 2019.4, let me know. I'm more than happy to show you. I've gotten a lot of requests for EVNG and VMware for some reason, even though it says InfoSec Pat. 
um, my first and my, you know, before I got into information security, I was on the networking and system side. So I'm pretty proficient with networking, routing, switching, network security, virtualization. So a lot of my, you know, followings knew me as like the MCSE guy or the CCNP, you know, the Cisco guy, not really too much of the, the information security side. So this is why, you know, I'm trying to broaden my, my horizon and get more people to come in and see the InfoSec side of me. And yeah, so, you know, this channel is all about learning, demonstrating different technologies, different tools. So let's all go on this journey together. Again, thank you for viewing. Have a wonderful evening and cheers.